decision, I know he missed very good kick. That's why he has to take some rest. <laughs> Guys, Islam Lokashev pertahankan sabuk juara kelas ringan UFC setelah kalahkan Alexander Volkanovski. Islam Lokashev menang TKO di laga tersebut. Tiga menit ronde pertama berjalan, Islam melepaskan high kick dan membuat Alexander Volkanovski tersungkur. Setelahnya, para penonton bergemuruh. Islam lantas meletakkan jarinya di depan mulut dan meminta semuanya diam. Islam Makhachev lantas menjelaskan selebrasinya itu. Islam melakukannya demi Palestina. Uh, you know, first of all, because all my, like last month, all my camp, I watched the video, I watched the story about the situation, what happened in the Palestinian sector, guys, and make me very sad, you know. Because the people in the Palestine on sector, they don't have nothing. They close them and attack them every day. They not kill some terrorists or some like people. They kill the kids, old people, you know. This is a crazy what happened now in the sector Gaza and Palestine. And just I want to send the message. Stand with Palestine, we with you. And that's it. ini, Mark Hashef sudah berhasil mempertahankan gelar juaranya sebanyak dua kali di mana semuanya diraih atas Volkanovski. Tentunya masih kurang apabila tahta Mark Hashef belum dipertahankan dari serangan para jawara dari divisi 155 pon ini. Presiden UFC, Dana White pun merasa bahwa Mark Hashef masih perlu membuktikan diri lagi di kelas ringan. Makachev dinilai mampu bersaing di kelas welter karena postur badan yang tergolong besar dan ukuran petarung kelas ringan. Ya, yeah, I mean I guess he's talented enough. Um, I don't see that happening anytime soon. He's still got some guys to fight. Uh, but you listen, if he held the belt for for you know defends the belt for another year, you know, and wanted to move up, why not? You listen, you got to give it to Oliveira. I mean, Oliveira was ready to go. Unfortunately, got cut. Um, yeah, this is like the worst. I'm, I'm yeah, I, I, I think you give it to Oliveira. White merasa Makachev bisa menciptakan sejarahnya sendiri dengan mempertahankan gelar di kelas ringan. Makachev kerap dibanding-bandingkan dengan sahabatnya, Khabib Nurmagomedov yang lebih dahulu menaklukkan kelas ringan UFC. Ini tidak terlepas dari anggapan bahwa Nurmagomedov terlalu cepat pensiun. Well, I, I don't know if he really lives in Habib's shot. I mean, tonight was a big step in the right direction. You know, the guy's been dominant. Then he goes in and, and, and you know, all the controversy that came off that last fight and he finishes this fight the way that he did. And again, there's no excuse. It's not like you say, oh, this thing went in the third round. Volkanovski didn't have enough time to train. He went in there and viciously, impressively finished this fight. Uh, with a crow cop esque kick to the head, it doesn't get any better than that. Against a very tough, durable guy who has a great chin, and uh, you know you don't ever see anybody do that to Volkanovski. So keeps doing what he's doing. It just you just got to keep grinding and knocking him down one by one, and it eventually happens. The, the truth is, when you look at Habib, and nothing against Habib, Habib came in and won the title and defended. But this kid could go on a on a defense run that. That absolutely blows everybody away that, that ever held the belt in that division. Adapun Makachev dalam konferensi pers pasca laga UFC 294 juga mengungkapkan kesiapannya untuk melawan jagoan kelas ringan selanjutnya. It's not my job. It's then it's have to then I have to work on this and I just. Will sign the contract. Just send me the name. But my opinion, I feel like already I have two opponents. Charles. Okay, I will be Charles. Who is gonna be next? Gage. He will wait. But I don't think it's a good idea. But it is what it is. If, when they, if they say Charles, okay. If they say Gage, it will be okay. Doesn't matter. I will be ready. Habib Nur 
Magomedov, saudaranya Islam Makhachev, tidak hadir di laga tersebut. Habib tidak duduk di sudutnya Islam, juga tak pula hadir di Etihad Arena. Melalui media sosialnya, Khabib Nurmagomedov menjelaskan ketidakhadirannya. Khabib mengaku sudah benar-benar pensiun dari dunia MMA dan tidak terlibat lagi dengan segala halnya. Jika Anda bertanya saya di mana, kenapa saya tidak ada di sudut, saya sudah menjelaskannya. Saya tidak pergi lagi ke pertarungan, saya tidak lagi datang ke sudut dan saya tidak terlibat lagi dengan segala hal tentang MMA. Saya meminta Anda untuk menghormati keputusan saya. Seperti yang sudah dilakukan saudara, teman, dan rekan-rekan sparing saya. Apa yang tim kami capai selamanya akan jadi sejarah di MMA. Islam Makhachev menghapus keraguan semua orang dengan mengalahkan Alexander Volokhanovsky pada ronde pertama dari main event UFC 294. Islam Makhachev, if he could have chosen who his next title defense came against, It might have been Volkanovski, right? Yeah. But what Charles Oliveira did to Benil Daryush made him impossible to deny. Islam wanted to make this statement. Man, did he make it. He made a statement. I mean, it was phenomenal. The way that he performed and the way that he did it can leave no question. Because we just saw Kamaru Usman fight for 15 minutes on short notice. We also saw him do it in the first round, right? Volk was, it, they were still fresh, but it was the setup, man. The ability to go out there and set the tone early with the inside leg kicks and recognize that in fight one, as Paul said, very early, he had success with that high left leg kick. He kept going to it, kept going to it, landed it very early, and the second one landed it, hurt Volkanovski bad, and he got the finish. What a performance. He's on a 13 fight winning streak. Uh, he's been absolutely dominant outside of the, you know, the first Volkanovski fight, but... Again, that's such a that's a tough matchup for for someone that's coming in grappling heavy. I think him attacking this as a striking, you know, heavy fight seemed to be uh, absolutely. The guy's a bowling ball. It's hard to hold a bowling ball down. Uh, it is, is what it is. So that was impressive. I mean, I'm been here for a long time. You know, I've been doing this shit for a long time, but I've earned my spot. Um, I knocked out Justin Poirier, and is Islam Makhachev beatable? I don't know, but. Um, I'm gonna give everything as I always have. I mean, I'm number two. You know, I knocked out Poirier. I mean, Charles Oliver is ahead of me, but you know, he kind of, he kind of, um, he, 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 and he, he obviously already lost to Makachev. I have not fought Makachev. It's a fresh matchup, a uh, new matchup, and I think that's what the fans are looking for. Um, I think he would have dominated Oliver just the same. Oliver being me, uh, MMA, MMA math doesn't work. Um, I've said he's not Khabib, but I think he might be, so I just want to go out there and figure it out. Nah guys, gimana dengan pendapat kalian semuanya? Tinggalkan komentar di bawah, like video ini, and see you next time!